Hey Scorpio, so I'm going to do your reading. We're going to see what your messages are at this time. Just keep in mind while you're listening to the reading that this is a general reading. So if it doesn't make sense, do not force it to fit your situation, okay? Keep listening to your intuition, Scorpio. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you know, everything is going great. We're going to go ahead and get started on this reading and we're going to see what messages you guys have at this time, okay? All right, I'm going to pull from this deck and get your overall energy around love, okay? All right, so Holy Spirit, what is the collective's overall energy surrounding their love life at this time? Thank you. So we have unspoken here, okay? So unspoken, it says regrets, lost words, disappointment, all right? So collective, there could have been some things that maybe you felt like you couldn't or you weren't able to get off of your chest to a specific person, all right? Um, and that makes you a little bit sad, a little disappointed. All right, let's see what's at the bottom. Clashing is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have clashing. This says differences, incompatibility, conflict. So this, it feels like... Um, it's like a situation where it just it's, it's not fitting you know it's, whatever the issues are between you two no matter how hard you try it's just not working it's not fitting it, you just it's it's just not you know it's not what you want it to be and you're disappointed because it's something that you do want okay or someone that you do want, but it's like you can't have it. Or you're being blocked from having it. Maybe, you know, it's a situation where you two just see the world in two different ways. Or you see love two different ways. You see relationships differently. Yeah, this is what I'm feeling at the bottom of the deck. Solitary. Alright, or farewell. Solitary is right here. Okay, so we have farewells and solitary. Farewells, goodbyes, um, and then we have closure here. Yeah, it just it just feels like it's too hard to make it work. So it's just easier to separate. It's easier to leave it alone because it's too much. You know, it's too difficult. It's too stressful. Um, and so it kind of feels like, you know, you're just spending time by yourself. Um, solitary here, withdrawn energy, being alone, you know. Right after that, I do see apology, okay. So we have apology here. It says return, forgiveness, gifts, okay. I see harmony, peace, balance, friendship, okay. So this alone time, the separation, this is needed, especially if this is a connection where, you know, you feel like this is your soulmate or you feel like there is some type of, um, significant reason this person has entered your life this is needed the separation is needed okay um but it kind of feels like at this time you're just a little disappointed that this person isn't in your life all right yeah longing is here okay um it says someone is secretly yearning for you okay so they may not be you know like saying it but feel like you can feel the energy and feel that they miss you and the energy is definitely mutual but nobody's saying anything you could have had an argument um spirit can you tell me more about this reading for the collective what else does the collective need to know i'm gonna get into another deck the messages of love oracle cards i love these cards um especially when i'm doing a love reading because I really do feel like if you're looking for some type of truth or, you know, confirmation, this deck is really, uh, really good at showing you what you might not know, okay, and what you need to see. All right, Spirit, so what does the collective need to see at this time? What do you need the collective to see at this time? 
interference is here. It says an external party is intruding on this relationship, okay? So there definitely could have been, you know, some type of interference. This could have been, you know, maybe a family member. Maybe your person was dealing with another person. You know, maybe this person, your person was just focused on other areas of their life. It just feels like their focus wasn't on you or your focus wasn't on them. There was something that caused you two to kind of part ways, okay? Yeah, there's like a break here is what I'm seeing. A split up. Something is right in between you two. Spirit, tell me more. Thank you. Obsession is here. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Okay. All right. So you guys are still thinking of each other. All right. You two are still on each other's minds. And it's... um. This obsession, like, it, there's a lot of um, mental conflicts here. I should have said this. You know, I should have done this. Why didn't I do this? Is this person with another person? Do they still care about me? I miss them. Do they miss me? Like, there's a lot of, like, I need to know what's happening, but nobody is saying anything. Or, like, it's just um, not healthy at all. All right? Let's see. Let's see what else comes out. Can I have one more Holy Spirit? Intuition is here. It says, you already know the answer you seek. All right? Let's pull some tarot cards. Yeah. At the bottom for a pull, it says awakening. It says someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So this is this separation, this breakup, this is needed. Alright? There's there's something bigger at play. Like when you run into connections like this, you know, spirit knows. Spirit knows what spirit is doing. Like this is this is there's something deeper that needed to happen within you, okay? There is an awakening here, okay? Somebody's starting to understand, like, there's more to life, okay? Somebody's waking up. Okay, let's see. So, let's start to clarify. Um, interference, Holy Spirit. Can you tell me about the interference? An external party is intruding on this relationship. Spirit, why is that part here? Okay. So the Knight of Pentacles came out, all right? So this energy is like slow moving. This is uh, planning. This is, um, you know, something happening in steps, okay? Why is that here, Spirit? You could, you could have a message coming your way, all right? Um, I've seen the Eight of Swords here, but the, or I'm sorry, I've seen the Eight of Wands. But the Six of Swords is here, okay? This talks about getting out of conflict, moving away from the issues, from the conflicts here, okay? So I feel like this is a situation where there's an explanation coming, all right? Somebody wants to explain their absence. But this is not easy to do, all right? There's a lot of com there's a lot of conflicts. You're not sure what it is. Mental conflict is like, you know, for sure one of the things. But there's so many different things happening or that have been happening, all right? And this is like I've been trying to find the words to tell you, okay? I've been really trying to figure out like how to say this, all right? This is you or the person. Somebody wants to say something to you and it's been difficult to get this off of their chest. All right, um, and this person like obsesses over it. This person, you know, is up day and night trying to figure out like, what do I need to say? So you're telling me more about interference. But they know they need to say this. We have intuition here. All right, it says you already know the answer you seek. This person knows what they need to say. Okay, but it's just like they're, they're fighting. Okay, fighting with their thoughts, fighting with themselves. So you're telling me about interference. Fighting um, control, okay? So there is like this energy where this person is 
Okay, yeah, it's the mind. There's a lot of mental conflict happening at this, at, in this person's energy, and they're trying to suppress this. That's what's making it so difficult. But at the same time, it's like um, they're just causing more chaos mentally. There's a lot of mental chaos here. It's like I know I need to say this because deep down on the inside, this person wants to return. Okay, but this energy is being suppressed. And it's like, no, it's easier not to say anything. It's easier not to, like, reach out. It's just easier because I don't have to, like, express myself. I don't have to talk about how I feel. This person's not really good with their emotions, not good with their, you know, expressing themselves. Or maybe they're afraid to express themselves. But they really want to. They really want to come towards you. But they're trying their hardest. It's a really uh, strong energy, this obsession energy. It's coming up. It's like I can't say it. Okay, I don't I don't know how to say it, so I'm just gonna just push it away. I'm gonna keep burying it. Okay, it's easier to just walk away. It's easier not to say anything, you know. But this person like is they know they need to. There's this energy of regrets. Like I need to say something, but it's a whole battle going on in this person's mind, you know. They're trying to hold on to control, okay? They, they don't want to feel a certain way. They don't want to look a certain way, you know? I'm going to pull from another deck, too, to just see what this person might be, you know, trying to get off of their chest. But they're definitely, um, like, struggling with control, you know? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to pull from this deck in a minute. Spirit, can you tell me about obsession? Obsession. The Hierophant. Okay, so I don't know who I'm speaking to. I don't know if this is you or your person. So just take it how it fits. But yeah, like this is the type of person where things have to happen a specific way at a specific time. And if they don't, then that's an issue. This person is extremely, like, stuck in a box. Very limited um, thinking. At this time, this could be past energy because I do see awakening here. So this person could be going through a process where, like, they're breaking free from that box. But with this um, obsession and hierophant card here, this is, like, an outdated way of thinking when it comes to love and relationships especially something like this because this connection um this is quite different okay that's why this person is like i don't know i don't know what this is like i need to i need to figure out what exactly i'm dealing with okay hmm a lot of anxiety a lot of stress is here because they don't know Yeah, they don't know what, what you are. They don't know. And look, tower is here at the bottom of the deck. This person, they're going, they're undergoing a spiritual awakening. Okay, you really woke something up inside this person. Okay. The way that they think about love is shifting. And that's a scary, like, it's a scary process. Like, this person expects to be married at a certain time, expects to have kids with a certain type of person, and then you come into their life, and it's the complete opposite. You're showing them something different, something new, and they're like, what is this? This isn't right, but I'm so drawn to this. But this can't be right. But I'm still drawn to this. Like, I'm still, you know, connected to this person. I'm still watching this person. I'm still, like, trying to figure this person out, even if they're not talking to you. They're still trying to figure you out. They're still trying to, like, understand you, okay? So they're going through, like, this process where things are being broken down in their mind, and it's causing chaos. So this person is not able to, like, articulate themselves at this time or express their feelings when it comes to this relationship. So it's just easier to leave it alone right now because <laughs> there's a lot going on, okay? 
Okay, Spirit, tell me about, yeah, look at this. I'm telling you, this person is really struggling with this, all right? This person could be struggling with depression. This person could be struggling with, you know, like maybe PTSD. There's a lot of stuff that's coming up, okay? Like you really did trigger this person. Spirit, tell me more about the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Really any sign, so let's see. Can you tell me more about the Hierophant? Yeah, I feel like you're a free thinker. Okay. Alright, Collective, sorry about that interruption, but um, the Lover's card came out. This is uh, free thinking energy, alright? I feel like you two are definitely opposites, okay? You think one way about love, all right? You're more, um, you know, spiritually connected. You're someone who trusts in the divine. Definitely, you know, spirit, spiritually guided. This person is, they could be more religious, okay? With this Hierophant card here. Um, it's like they have a certain structure or a certain way of looking at love, you know? And it's completely opposite from you know, how you view love or how you view the world, which is why we have that clashing energy here, all right? Clashing, it says different differences and compatibility, and it says conflict, okay? This is, you could be somebody who maybe you read tarot or maybe you're, you know, you just like, you're someone who really trusts your intuition, you're, you say different things. I feel like you're just, you're very open-minded, you know? versus this person like they think in a box it, it feels like they have limited um they have a limited view of the world all right but this energy it does feel you know spirit is putting you two together for a reason or, or spirit had you two come together for a reason so that you both could learn things about each other you could be somebody who is afraid to commit all right, or, you know, maybe you're someone who kind of bounces around from person to person, or I feel like you two are going to both help each other in different ways. All right. So, anything else with obsession? Obsession. The sun is here, okay? We have Leo energy here. But this feels good, okay? So this is a very, you know, it's a specific reading. It feels like this person is drawn to you, okay? Very drawn to you. You know, um, you feel good to be around, okay? Look at the sun in these two cards. You feel good, like your energy is very positive, very uplifting, um, very warm. It's like summertime, like you feel good, like the complete opposite than the than the inside of this building that this person is in, okay? They've never, it's like I've never been outside, I've never been here before, I've never experienced this warmth, I've never had this. I'm used to... I'm used to being indoors. This person could be like a homebody, okay? Someone who's just you know, just kind of stuck in their own way, all right? But you show them something different, and it's very intriguing. They want more, but it's it's it kind of feels like it goes against what they stand for, you know? It goes against what they've been taught. Whatever you do or whatever, however you look, whatever your, you know, maybe your ethnic background, whatever you're into, completely opposite than this person's, um, what they're into or what they've been taught, what they're around, okay? But it feels good, you know, this person is learning to follow their intuition. They are, I feel like they are trying, but, yeah, you're definitely going to have to have patience with this one. All right, we have patience here. It says everything will unfold in divine timing. There is a reason why this person entered into your life. If you know who I'm talking about, there's a reason why they came into your life, all right? You're here to show them something new, and they're here to show you something new as well. 
Intuition. You already know the answer you seek. So tell me about intuition. Why is that here? Intuition. You already know the answer you seek. The chariot is here. All right. So. Um, you could be a cancer, maybe dealing with a cancer, but I feel like spirit is saying, um, moving forward, allow your intuition to guide you because it's guiding you where you need to be. Okay. It's guiding you to your answers. Okay. Let's see what else. The five of pentacles is here. And the fool is here. Aries energy. Whoever is in this connection that is obsessing, all right, whoever is the one that has the limited um, way of viewing love, Spirit is trying to wake you up to connect to your intuition because your intuition is going to help get you out of, um, there is some type of regret here, disappointment, sadness, and it feels like your soul is really trying to break free. All right, but you're afraid, you know, like you're not used to loving like this. You're not used to the sun. You're not used to this warm energy, you know, maybe when it comes to love, you, you just, I feel like you haven't experienced love like this. It kind of feels like it's too good to be true. But Spirit is really trying to show you that you don't have to be alone. Or you don't have to feel like you're not cared for, you know. Love is real. <laughs> okay, it's not just something that only a few people get. Like, anybody can get it. Anybody can get it, okay? Like, you can have it. But it's like, I, I kind of feel like if, if you want it, you know, like, if you want it. You want real love? Or do you want, like... This is, like, conditional you know, I'll love you if you have these things, or if you can do this for me, or if you look like this. There is somebody here who wants to love you unconditionally. You know, like you don't have to be anybody but yourself. I keep saying that. I've been saying that throughout this week. Like, the nudity in these cards, these people are free. These people are, they're being themselves. They're natural, you know. Yeah. Your intuition is trying to connect you to this, this free love. It's free love, okay? There's free love here. Free love, it's free. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull from a... Uh, I'm going to pull from another deck. We're going to see what this person might be saying to you. Okay, so um, just kind of take these messages how they fit. Don't force anything. Like, if you know it's not your story, then it's just not. Okay, let's see. I have birds all outside my window. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Holy Spirit, thank you for that message. What else? Okay, so what would this person say to the collective? What do they want to get off of their chest? Because we have unspoken here. It says lost words. It says regret, lost words, disappointment. Okay, so we're going to see what they might say. What this person really wants to get off of their chest. Alright, Spirit, what do they want to say to the collective? What does this person want to say to the collective? Let's see. Thank you. You hurt me. Okay? So collective, this person might feel like you hurt their feelings. Heartbreak is here. It says grief, insomnia, pain, restless. Okay? So there could have been something that you, ha you may have said. Said to this person. Okay? Maybe you blocked this person. Or maybe you just, you know, maybe you said some things that really hurt their feelings. Okay? So... That might be something that they want to, um, like, get off of their chest and let you know. Alright, Spirit, tell me more. What would this person say to the collective? Who 
please listen to me. Okay? So we have please listen to me. Alright? This person has been spending time alone. Okay? Withdrawn, lonesome, single. They've been thinking. There's a lot that's on their mind. Okay? A lot of mental conflicts. For some of you, they want to apologize. Okay? And they want peace. Okay? They want peace with you. That harmony card. Yeah, they understand that this is a spiritual connection. They're trying to break free. Okay? There's a certain way that this person thinks when it comes to love. And they're trying to break free. They're trying to change from that. And that's a process. Like, when you're trying to change, it's a, it's a whole process. And I feel like for some of you, this person wants you to hear them out. So they want to explain themselves. All right? Spirit, can you tell me more? Thank you. I miss you a lot. All right? This person misses you. I feel like the energy is definitely mutual. Okay? Okay, Spirit. What else would they say to the collective? What else will be spirit? Can I have two more? Okay, so I got three more. I'm mentally stronger. Okay, yeah, we have this awakening here. It says someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. This is a whole process. I miss our sex. Okay. Some of you just really put it on this one. Like, whatever you did. Like, you got some type of magical something. <laughs> and they're like... I don't know what that was, but I'm definitely going to need some more of that. <laughs> That's for those of you that have had sex with this person, okay? Um, and then, you can't save me came out, alright? So, you can't save me. Yeah, this, this awakening process, this person really had to go through this um, journey on their own, okay? So... If you know this is your reading, just take some time to think about this one. Um, you know, don't force any of these messages. I also see love at first sight, okay? This person was definitely drawn to you. Definitely drawn to your energy, but they really didn't know how to, like, compute that, okay? Alright, Collective. So, that was the reading. I hope it was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, I'm not sure if I said this, but um, I am open open for reading. So, just go ahead and check out the description box below. And you can see how to book a reading with me, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.